Continuing right along, I'm eager to get through the time nodes of the math um, section of Grasshopper for Rhino, just because I don't use them that much, and it's just good to, well, but it's still good not to leave anything on uh, looked at. I did cover, this is the same script that came from my um, ABCs and 123s in Rhino, uh, Grasshopper for Rhino series that I started, and I don't know if I'll go into more detail on this. My real uh, exciting uh, area I want to move into quickly is into the trigonometry, which has so many incredible opportunities for geometries and control and beauty, and then definitely into the golden ratio natural alg algorithm we were playing with earlier. Um, you'll see the effects of this as I as I jump through this, and even end with some strange uh, complex number and arguments. That said, uh, time uh, gives you these eight. Uh, nodes and they work fairly simply. What I did was I went in and I generated, well actually this works, uh, this actually has in it uh, your date um, and what's going on, or it has this date, June 30th, uh, Tuesday, um, which uh, you could extract everything. You go here and hit extract parameter and out comes these numbers and then you can put a panel on them and see exactly what it extracted when making that and then it gives you today's date. It's a nice way to know how it operates and works. You can definitely uh, pull up your uh, bifocal tool if you've done that plugin and see that's how you construct a date and in the same breath that's how you deconstruct a date. So I've just put all these nodes to good use. Um, we don't want to miss any so let's go back up here and construct and deconstruct it. Uh, constructing an exotic date requires a little more. Um, it will not, I don't believe it actually generates the exotic date for you but what I've done is I put in data, ran it through its numbers and brought it in created my own exotic date. It's not that exotic, but that's that tends to be what it is. Uh, we'll go back up to there and uh, construct a smooth time. I didn't even bother with. Um, I ran it in another script. It uh, yeah, best to just take a look in the help menu and see if you can figure it out from that. And it constructs a time, uh, a time instance from smooth components. So Basically, you're going to be inputting the days, the hours, the minutes, the seconds, and then coming out with the, uh, with the time constructed. Not too much different than uh, constructing time, but give it a try. And construct time, there's an example of it, the same thing. Generate some numbers, put it on through, and have the time it's supposed to date. Not too hard to think about. Uh, we deconstructed the date, and then we move into combine date and time, which is literally that. Uh, you bring together a date and a time, and out it pops together. It's kind of like concatenating something. And I've covered this in another video, so I just want to go over it. A date range is interesting. You have two dates um, and pull it in. Date or time, actually. I can believe it takes both. Uh, yeah, uh, create a range of successive dates or time, so you don't have to be specific to the days. And that's exactly what it does. It gives you a certain count. It defaults to 10, but if you wanted to have less so, put in a number slider too, and you will have, there you go, a uh, uh, date range. Um, not really something I'm going to use geometrically, but I guess I could. Um, it's been so creative. I want to be in what's the purpose of what I want to do. Uh, we'll keep moving. And the last one is an interpolate date, which takes that uh, two dates as well and uh, pulls them back together. But the interpolation is an interesting uh, quality. Uh, what does that actually do in opposed to what I was doing before? Uh, it, it grabs that information and moves between those dates. So um, I'll leave that for you to play around with. It's not that exciting. Uh, combined date time. Uh, I'll put the script up on GitHub and I'm like I said, I'm just kind of eager to move through it so we can get back to some nice geometries. Very excited about where we're going into the maths, into the trigonometry. I'll be able to do a lot of stuff that I learned from Daniel Kristev online and activate all of this. And, and I think it is important to understand these quick uh, uh, trigonometric functions and deal with similar triangles and right angles and all the stuff you learned in grade 10 to grade 12 math in high school, hopefully. Uh, you can put into visualization and use as uh, staying away from functions and graph map mappers and actually dealing with these specified nodes that were made for your use. So thanks very much for watching. Four and a half minutes.